everybody, Tanisha K, also known as Mary C. K. D. K. here on the YT, coming to you guys with just another tip for um, this month, inspirational tip for this month. So you guys know I come to you the first Sunday of every month and just give you, you know, my thoughts, things that I'm thinking about. And honestly, again, these videos are always for me. They're never just to bash you guys. They're just opportunities for me to grow, for me to learn, for me to apply the word to my situation. And they're also reminders. Again, I can't tell you how many times I go back and watch these videos during a storm or coming out of something. And I'm just like, wow, it's so strong. And I remember and I'm grateful. And I'm reminded that God is faithful again. So this month, we're going to be talking about remembering the Bible. And I know that's just kind of like you would think it's second nature Christian Bible go together like a sandwich you know but it really doesn't we are now living in the days where the believers of God the most high God Jesus daddy do not know the word of God I think that is crazy when I meet 10 year olds 12 year olds who don't know the books of the Bible when I meet adults who don't know scriptures, they quote cliches and not actual scriptures. They think that they're scripture because they hear it said often, but it's not scripture. It's not Bible. It's a cliche that we've used um, to replace what we really should know. Um, one of my friends, Tootie, made a post on Facebook and she was talking about going to work and how when you go to work, you want to be adequately trained. In order to be adequately trained, they usually have a training program, a training manual, something that they take you to a process to get you to be educated in that position. Well, guess what God has? God has the exact same thing for his children. He has a Bible. And guess what? They make a myriad, a plethora, you know, I love those two words, of Bibles. There's so many ways that you can study the Word. I will always suggest start with King James. We'll get into that in a sec. But you have the Word here. You should know this Word. I made a comment on that post and I was like, you know, I'll ask people, hey, you know, where is that in the Bible? And they'll just respond, oh, my pastor says it all the time. So you don't know what the Word of God says? Your pastor knows it for you? That's not how it can work in 2017 when Bibles are so easily accessible. You can currently right now pick up your phone and have access to the Word of God in several different languages, several different versions. You can have whatever type of Bible you want to have in your phone instantly. And I don't understand how in this day and age people can't easily access the Word or they choose not to, not just access it in the the um, Bible, but to hide it in their hearts to memorize. So we've got to get back to the basics of memorizing scripture and studying scripture, guys. All the books that I have are wonderful. I have a ton of books. You can ask my husband. I'm a book nerd. I love to read. Right now, I am currently finishing up um, Raising Kingdom Kids because I kept starting it and picking up other All right, stuff. So I'm also getting ready to do a book study for The um, Power of a Praying Wife. All these books I love, but I cannot forget the Word of God. Even though these books are wonderful and they have scriptures in them, I need to go back and be the Berean. I need to be the one that's studying and making sure that it's saying what they say that it is saying because you don't want to misinterpret you want to make sure that you're getting your understanding and all you're getting that you're actually getting understanding of the word of god so believers do not forget the bible now let's go into real quick picking a bible let me give you a couple of tips on picking the bible first the one you want to pick is your king james version i know people don't like the king james version for the hast and the thou's and the big ass but you need the hast and the thou's and the big ass because every other translation of the bible comes from this one and this translation has already come from the, the pure text. So you want to make sure that you're not getting anything that's too diluted. So this is the text. This is this Bible. That's one. And then if you take something from here and you bring something else over here, okay, that's two. And if they draw out of this and they take, okay, well, this is the new NIV. This is the super new 2017. This is the extra amplified. They're just slowly bringing more, and it can honestly be watering it down. You don't want your word watered. Do you need to be able to understand the word of God? Yes. But you have the opportunity to do that in comparing it and going back to checking and studying more of the King James Version. So I will say the first Bible you need is a King James Version Bible. You can't be based forever. Got to get you some meat. Now, study Bibles are greatly recommended. This is a study Bible I have. It's a King James Bible, but it's my King James Study Bible. This Durham particular one is not in print anymore, but I believe they have a new version of the same Bible. And, um... I believe this is by Barber Books. So I really like this Bible because it gives the King James Version. Yeah, I've had this since 2013. And it gives the King James, and then down here at the bottom, it has um, 
ex explanation and extra commentary about the passages. I like it because it's not a heavy Bible. I like it because it's a light Bible. So I definitely would suggest that you get a study Bible. That way you can understand the King James Bible even more. The next thing that I would suggest is that if you want to have a version of coincide and go along with your study of that, then look into um, the Amplified version. The Amplified version of the Bible is going to give you parentheses and give you extra scriptures to reference while you're reading. That way you can say, okay, where have I heard this word before, this phrase, such and such? And it'll have it in parentheses already there. You don't have to go back and look for it. Or if there's words that you're thinking you may not understand, the Amplified Bible is going to say, okay, when you hear this word, for example, I did a video last month. My video last month was about God having you covered. And then the Amplified version, um, when the King James Version, it says Selah at the end of that psalm. Well, in the Amplified, it had parentheses, pause and calmly think. So that just lets me know, okay, Selah means to pause and calmly think. And that's what I need to be doing when I'm reading this. Um, the author who wrote that song wrote Selah in there several times for you to read it and then think about what you read. Okay? So that's what you need. Now, as far as books are concerned, these books are awesome. I'm showing you some of my collection. That doesn't mean you have to go get them. You know, go get them or not. Totally up to you. They're awesome books. Right now, me and my husband are into super, always into marriage, but we're definitely into leadership right now. Books are awesome, but guys, do not forget the word of the Most High God. My next tip for you, if you are studying and not to forget the word, is to go to Sunday school at your local church. Go to Bible study. We do the precepts for living. Of course, this is a commentary for our um, Sunday school, but Sunday school is going to be a, a way you can have conversation about the word. Usually, if you have small groups, that is where you would um, have the opportunity to do those kinds of studies. But you need to get into a small, educated group of believers, and it's going to be very, you know, very varying levels, very maturities in the faith. And that's what you need to have a healthy dialogue, to have a better understanding of what God is saying in his word. You want to make sure that you're doing that. And then the other thing that I would suggest every believer must have, um, and I'm going to do another video about that, but real quick, you can get you a Bible dumb. A Bible dictionary. This is a Baker Compact Bible dictionary, and I got this for one dollar from Mardell. And I caught on clearance. I bought several of them. I gave them out to people, and I love it. It gives me what I'm looking for. It gives it to me real quick. Now, of course, you can get a big, thick one, but this one works fine for me. And then um, another thing that I would suggest that you do in getting more understanding about the Word of God is going through each book of the Bible one at a time. So I have an example right here. This is by Good Morning Girls, and um, Women Living Well is another name for this group. And this is just the book of Judges when I did that Judges study right here. It's one chapter a day. You take one chapter and you read it. And in here you just journal what that chapter was about. So you just pick a scripture that stood out to you. You can write a summary, any observations, how you're going to apply it. You write a prayer. It gives you some questions over here to answer. And look how big it is, guys. This is pencil thin. So you can keep every single one. You can keep 66 of these in a tote. Nobody's going to know. They're not going to take up too much space. And you're able to study the word and learn more about the most high God whom you cherish, whom you love, and whom you serve. So that is my tip for you guys for this month. Do not forget the Bible. I know books are awesome. I know YouTube videos are awesome. But you need to be in the Bible and you need to be in a church. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about that actually next week. Do not forget the Bible, though, this week. Do not forget the word of God, the fresh manna, the word that is infallible, the word that is perfect, the word that lives. You know, in the Bible, every prophecy has come true. Everything is coming true in here, except for Jesus coming back. That's the only thing that ain't happened yet. But if everything else is happening, what you think going to happen? Yeah, he's coming back. So you want to make sure that the least thing that you can do before you meet the one who created you is read his book. Okay? I thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video.